Hi, right, welcome back. We're here at United Rentals. And as you've seen on one of my other videos, we did a full gear on an 80 footer. Um, today, we downside, we're going to do one on a 50 foot Tovo JLG. Look at this. The piece we got to replace is this whole piece right there. Alright, so yesterday, I did most of the work. I took all the hoses, hydraulic hoses off the center, unwrapped them, pulled them out. I'm just going to get all the harnesses, got them out of the way. Got most all the bolts out except one. So I got one bolt holding the whole uh, top section of the boom on. I got a strap, so I'm hoping and I'm going to get a pull up here, stick it up on the one side, just in case. And as soon as I get that one bolt off, I'm going to yank it out. Set it on the jack stands and replace the gear.
Alright, as you can see that went rather smoothly. Right, and it went was quite easy. So had it on jack stand there and there. Strap down. Got tension on it, but I just wanted to get it out of the way. And this is what we need to replace. We still gotta take all these bolts out. Take all these bolts out. My air compressor just kicked on. Pull the pump off, pull this off, put the new one on, bolt everything back together, and hopefully not destroy it in the process. All right. All right, let's keep on going. Stick around. Before I did all this, I did make sure that the weight, that you have two ton cranes, say 4,000 pounds. The boom itself with the cylinders, basket and everything weighs about 22, 2300 pounds max. So I was pretty good and it actually came out very easily, very balanced and everything, how I had it strapped down and everything. So it was safe. So stick around and we shall continue. the whole thing so bearings actually inside it between these two pieces here but you're good to go and there's your grease fitting this part of what happened with the last one was it was never greased well hadn't seen grease in a while and it just got all floppy so, all right there you have it like I said just take your time plan what you're gonna do make sure you got everything you need before you get started. I'm not gonna just delay the process. So stick around, we're gonna put this supper back together. Alright, so welcome back. Just had lunch, full belly, stuffed. Had Chinese food. So where we left off is got the bearing on, cleaned up, hose it through it. Get ready to put that sucker back on here. So let's get to it. Alright, stay tuned. Ten bolts are torqued down. Now the ones you cannot 
do right now is after you hook up the whole just one the back through, hook them all up, hook up all of it, uh, electrical wiring, harnesses, everything. Uh, because the other one, one, two, three, there's six more bolts. And you can't get to them until the boom is up in the air. You can see one there, there and there, but the boom is in the way and then there's three in the front if you can barely see it. There in the center and then on the other side. So there you have it. I'm not gonna bore you with me keep doing all this. All it is is a reverse procedure of routing the lines back in and um, hooking everything back up. That's why we marked all the hoses. All the hoses are marked. As far as just matching up the colors, putting it back on and testing it out. So I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and if you the uh, channel, please subscribe and I got plenty of other videos. Uh, weather's changing so hopefully I get back in the mountains soon. Alright, thanks a lot. Hope you liked it.